Hi everybody, Richard again here from Electric Classic Cars and today's video is going to be all about this beast. My own Land Rover Defender, Tesla powered, 100 kilowatt hour battery pack. But I'm not going to give you a detailed run around of this car because essentially we've already done that. Like click on this link here, wherever YouTubers say that. And But today it's all going to be about going off for a little bit of a wander into the hills. So ran a, a friend of ours last night having a barbecue and you know he owns a bit of land he said have you ever been up so and so hill uh what was it called badgers whatever squirrels knob. squirrels knob or whatever he called it yeah I was, no we've not so uh he said oh let's do that tomorrow so sun's out this is fully charged so as they say uh was anybody that's from the uk that's uh, around about the age of 40 or over this will mean something let's off road lindsay so let's uh Unhook the charging lead because we're just topping up on the good stuff, the free free sunshine. So uh, if I just unplug this now, uh, so you have to press the button to unlock the cable. So I think we're pretty much there. Oh yeah, oh plenty. Right, get in, Tim. Let's get let's get muddy. Oh, the other thing too is quite funny. Um, so the last thing the guy said to me um, on Friday when I took this out of the workshop is um, just don't get it muddy because it's going off to a magazine shoot on Tuesday. <laughs> Let's see how that goes today, eh? <laughs> right, I'm just going to show you how easy this thing is to start up. So, key on, crank it just to start it. And we've got electronic parking brake or EPB on this. So all you do, like on a modern uh, uh, vehicle, press the P for handbrake off. Oh, starting to roll forward. <laughs> Put it in forward, and that's it. Simple as that. So get in the car, let's go. Right, we're on our way to uh, Mate Titans, but uh, Tim's not experienced the acceleration of this thing yet. I'm just gonna uh, stop here. Nice long straight ahead. I've got my draggy on, which is this thing here. I'm just going to do a quick nod to 60 for you, mate. You ready? I'm holding on. I can see you're holding <laughs> on to the bars there. Hold on to the bars, we'll take it to Mars. Here we go, hold on tight. Right, here we go. Ready? Oh, Whoa! Oh, Whoa. Oh, no! <laughs> That'll do me. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, this thing's a beast, man. <laughs> Right, you'd have to have a look what the uh, Nord 60 was there. I'll tell you what, let's just pull up here and we'll have a look what the Nord 60 was. Right, just pulled over there now and uh, have a look at the old draggy app. So, what do you reckon that Nord 60 was, Tim? Well, that was probably the. I don't think I've ever been quicker than that, even in a sports car. <laughs> it's got to be sub five seconds. Yeah. So that was a bit of wheel spin at the start, not 60 in 4.2 seconds. Wow. So, uh, let's, so see, let's can, see the proof. Hang on, let me uh, click on that. Uh, there you go. You see that? Yeah, we can see that. There you go. So is, is that the fastest or do you think no, you No, no, no. I mean, the fastest I've ever done not 60 in this is about 3.6 seconds, I think it is. So, which is fast enough in a Land Rover Defender. But I didn't build it for that. I built it to go off road. So let's go and pick up a mate and let's get muddy. Right, we're here now picking up uh, Tice. This is my mate Tice from Australia. So all this off roading stuff uh, in Wales is pretty Mickey Mouse compared to where he is used to going off roading in Australia. It's pretty accurate, would you say? Yeah, probably. Maybe not quite as muddy, but uh, a, bit, a, bit, a bit longer and rougher. Yeah, exactly. So uh, he's got some land around here and uh, around here last night having a barbie and uh, he was. Uh, Kind of say no, you've never been up Badger's Crack or whatever it's called. Where are we going? Squirrels Point. Squirrels Point. Yeah, you were more you were more accurate with that uh, before. So uh, yeah, he's got a dirty old Toyota Hilux diesel. So uh, he's going to take us somewhere I've never been before <laughs> for now. For now. So are you ready? Ready. Yeah, I don't know where we're going. Where are we going first? That way. Well, Is that we'll, it? We'll, we'll, we'll have to cross the Severn first, don't we? Oh, going across the Severn River. Okay, yeah, so, so we're going to get wet as well. Maybe. Magical mystery tour. Cool. All right, let's crack on.
Nice view, isn't it? See the view. Wonderful. Shame, shame about the road, or lack <laughs> of. I mean, look at that. Does that even look like a road up there? <laughs> right. I was, I was afraid of the, uh, I was afraid of the car needing uh, a bit of a wash when it got back on Monday. I think now it's going to need a bit of a, a buff on the side. You need to go and buy a bottle of tea cup from Halfords. <laughs> Oh, getting hit by all the branches. <laughs> oh, oh. Steep bit. Oh, ah, no. <laughs> keep, keep your eyes on the road, please, sir. <laughs> Tell you what, it's so easy to drive. There's no it, gears, there's no... Even an idiot could drive it. <laughs> there's no clutch, gear changes, high-low diff ratio and all that, lock diff, whatever. We've got three limited slip diffs in, one in the front axle, one in the rear, and, oh, <laughs> one in the middle. Proper road. <laughs> God, it's like luxury. It's like driving on flat marble. That's marble. a lot smoother. Uh, the river's down actually, but the, uh, the the floods that we've had recently have changed the um, the bed of the river around because the exit's normally over there, but it's been washed away. But we'll give it a go, see what happens. What's the worst can happen, eh? How long can you hold the breath? Well, I've got to get back over now. <laughs> How am I going to get back over? Uh, I've got I've got some evolving to do yet, mate. No, no, I was hoping for a, I was hoping for a splash then. I'm much safer in a Land Rover. Righto, Moggy. I think the first the first half's going to be easy. It's the uh, coming out my side will be the tricky bit. Yeah, that bank's been washed away over there, mate. So just uh, spot me in the right direction. But uh, it's shallow here, but I don't know how deep it is over there. You ready? Yeah, good to go. Right. It's the bank I'm worried about. Good. Yeah, yep. perfect, perfect, and right, steer right. Yep, oh, there we go. <laughs> Lovely. You taking us through another uh, water splash in a minute here, Ty, so I'm, uh, I'm assuming this isn't a road, it looks more like a, a riverbed. <laughs> yeah, well, we should have been here a few weeks ago. This is where, this is all underwater. All this brush is cleaning the underside of the uh, landing, lovely. That looks a bit deep, Tice. Yeah, yeah. No, it's not too bad, surely. Yeah, so Moggy, this bit's a bit deep, so uh, look out, <laughs> see if we can keep the smoke in the wires. Well, I can't actually see the bottom, so I can tell it's a bit deep, but I'll tell you what, if I do it fast, it'll be shallower. Do you reckon? What's the worst can happen? Right, I'm coming, mate. Hey! <laughs> 
<laughs> so, so for those that aren't too familiar with my Land Rover, what we've done is we've put a Tesla motor in the centre, turned it through 90 degrees. Hello, I've got to get up here first. <laughs> easy, easy. I better not say that. Oh, boy. <laughs> God, it's a bit muddy because they've got limited slip diffs in the front axle, the rear axle, and in the centre. It's just putting the power to whichever, whichever tyre and wheel has got the actual grip. I can't believe it's going up here so easily. Makes off-roading easy. Oh, this looks a bit steep and slippery here, Tim. I think I'm going to put it in off-road mode, so uh, hang on a minute. Right, so as soon as I come off the pedal, the regen will break the vehicle. So I'm not breaking this vehicle now. The regen is. So no feet on the brakes and we're going down this hill. So film a big muddy hill we're going down. So it's a very, very steep hill as well. There's no tire slippage, nothing. Let's get your feet again. So the, the actual motor is managing the descent for us and it, it's the regenerative braking of the actual motor is just managing all four wheels for us. So not even, all I'm doing now, all I'm doing is just concentrating on the steering wheel. And the beauty of regenerative braking as well as like stopping the car from just flying down the hill is it's putting the energy back in the battery as well, don't forget. So whenever you're spending the energy to get up the hill on the way back down you're getting some of that back into the battery i'd rather be driving up these hills and uh, walking up than what you're heading to <laughs> right so i don't know the way up here uh this is baden's land anyway so he knows the way up to squirrel point uh 13 now yeah so just to actually show you how simple this is to drive, Baden's going to drive the rest of this way, and we're going to put it in off-road mode because off-road mode isn't just um, high regenerative braking going downhill, but it also softens up the acceleration and also limits the top speed, so it'll be nice and you know mellow for uh, Baden to have some fun. So uh, let's go, Baden. So uh, put it in forward. Take the handbrake off, just press the handbrake button, the part button, and that's it, and then away you go. Baden's doing such a great job, it's nice and relaxing. And there's, it's really simple to drive, isn't it? Because I mean, there's yeah. no gears, there's no clutch or anything, it's, it's just. Okay. Go and stop. That's about it. Simple. Yeah. Child's play almost. <laughs> you having fun? Yeah. So is this near the top then? Is this Squirrel Point? Yeah. So. Why is it called Squirrel Point? Because um, they saw a squirrel running across here and there's no trees around miles so that's why they called it scroll point so who who named it um i'm not sure but i think it was my granddad yeah so it's called squirrel point because we're literally miles away from any trees and there's a squirrel running about yeah brilliant love it right on our way back now it's uh what time is it half is two Half two, we've been out since about half nine, so uh, what are we at? Uh, percentage wise, it's about 72%. We set off with about 90%. So that's a good good full morning's off road in there. And 
I think it's time to go back and clean it, clean it inside and out, because <laughs> I don't know if you can actually see on the camera, but it's about as filthy on the inside now as it is on the outside. So uh, time to go home and get the hose out. Right, we're back at the uh, house now, and I don't think I'm going to get away with taking this back. I think the lads will string me up if I don't wash this thing. So uh, I'm going to get the hose out and give it a wash. Actually, I'll show you one of the reasons uh, why I did what I did inside, actually. So let me grab the hose and uh, uh, I'll, I'll explain all in a second. All right, so people quite often ask me, what's with the wooden slats? Why have you put wooden slats in this? I'll show you why right now. You ready? This is why. Clean! <laughs> There we go. I think we got away with that. Uh, not completely clean, but I think the lads can finish it off on Monday for this magazine shoot, so uh, it's clean enough. But I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below, because I personally think this is the most capable off-roader there is out there. I mean, you've got 0 to 60 in 4 seconds, sub 4 seconds sometimes. Uh, you've got real ca capable off-roading ability as well, as you saw today. And, you know, it's a simple to drive that a child could drive it, as you saw with Baden today. So, um, yeah, I personally think it's one of the most complete all-around off-roaders there is. So uh, let me know in the comments below if you think there's a, a better off-roader out there that's as capable on the road as it is off the road as this. But uh, so there we go. Hope you enjoyed this adventure today, and thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.